Hey guys, this is Ronald speaking and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Auto Blast tool which you I believe have commented and downloaded this tool, right? So I've included two scripts that comes with this tool which I think makes sense that it comes in a pair. So let me start by creating a new scene. Uh, in, the, in this new scene, there's a setup node where I will do all my geometry work and have all my objects exported out in the OBJ context. The only problem is Let's just say we use the test object rubber toy here. It can get quite tedious if I want to separate each of these objects on its own. So if I do a blast node here and delete non-selected, so I can create one for each piece and have them all um, create an out to node, out blast one. I'll just do two over here, out blast two. And then on the outside, I will create a new geo node and drop an object merge and then pick up the, pick up the out blast one and have another geo here and this one picks up out blast 2 and with this over here if I render you you'll be able to use plugins like cryptomat and pick up the individual uh, objects in comp right the default cryptomat setup is defaulted to separate objects but as you can tell it's just making t just separating two objects is quite difficult so here are two tools for you uh, I created a new test shelf over here and let me just talk this to the side and show you these two scripts that you have downloaded, so one of them being the Auto Blast tool and the other being the Auto Geo tool. Right. So let me just copy all of this and create a new tool here. And for the first tool, I'm just going to paste the Auto Blast and call this Auto Blast under the Options tab, apply, accept, and right click and create a new tool. This time, go to the Script tab and go to Options and type Out to Geo. So apply and accept, then I have two new tools on this test shelf over here. So I'm going to minimize this and maximize my Houdini session again, dive into the setup context. So all you got to do over here is to, let me just uh, make a copy of this. Let's just say I have this object here. I can then click on auto blast. Uh, it will detect how many pieces there are and create for me all these out uh, nodes, which I can sort of arrange them any way I want. And if I want all these to be out in the OBJ context, I just select them and click out to Joe. And there you have it. Let me arrange them. Uh, you have all these objects as individual pieces in your OBJ context. And so if you were to render this in Redshift, let me just drop down a dome light. And we, if we switch over to crypto mat, we are able to then batch render this and be able to select our, our the geometries in comp um, using the crypto mat plugin. Right, so I hope this quick video is informative and it shows you how to use these two tools and uh, thanks for leaving a comment on the post on Instagram and I'll see you the next time I give away some tools. Right, uh, Take care and uh, have a good weekend. Bye!